It was a central message during President-elect Donald Trump's campaign. We're like a third world nation. You look at our airports, our roads. Our infrastructure is falling apart. I'm going to start swimming across rivers and lakes now. I don't want to drive. A $1 trillion plan to rebuild America's infrastructure like airports and pipelines and create thousands of jobs over 10 years. A promise he doubled down on in his victory speech. We're going to rebuild our infrastructure, which will become, by the way, second to none. To date, there are few details on what the plan would actually look like. A $1 trillion investment could cover the cost of repairing and expanding the national highway system and aging bridges, but it still falls short of the $3.6 trillion needed to restore all of the nation's infrastructure. There's bipartisan support for a plan, but on Capitol Hill, the divide is always over how to pay for it. Republicans didn't like President Obama's $475 billion plan, so why would they like President-elect Trump's $1 trillion plan? Well, I think part of it is the way that you pay for it, and, and it's a valid point, but it's the way that you pay for it. You can't just raise taxes because eventually that bill will come due. Will Donald Trump's dream of a $1 trillion infrastructure plan actually happen? Well, I think his dream will happen if, if we're committed to work in a bipartisan way. Trump hopes to entice the private sector to fund these projects with tax credits. But critics say the projects need to generate profits to sweeten the deal for private investors. And that could mean more toll roads and bridges. There will be a lot of local opposition to uh, turning roads into toll roads just to do maintenance. Um, and, and throwing tax credits at, at the problem would tend to uh, move investment to new things rather than fixing the old things.